Hello, Lola's. I know this is awkward. <laughs> I am trying to get situated here. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, not that long though, um, maybe a week or so. If you guys are new to this channel, thank you for joining. I am going to um, sit here and feed Vegas a bottle while I catch you guys up. You guys have not met Vegas. He still has a little bit of <laughs> work left, not much little things here and there. I do this with my own babies. When I paint a baby, I, I get them together and then I decide um sometime I, I stop and I and then sometime I decide I need I need to do this or that to them or sometime I get tired of the whole matting process and then I go and I stop and I finish <laughs> later but it's not really the best way to do it. You should really just finish and not start playing with them and stuff but oh well um, I've done it with several of my babies and I, I feel pretty confident that it it won't hurt my process. So, um, I am going to, um, so I'll formally introduce him a little later. But anyway, so I'm going to give him a bottle because I haven't really did it. But, you know, the good thing about when you're painting and after you get done, you have to give them you know, a bath, and, now did I take and leave your, where did I do with your bib? Oh my goodness, did I go over there and then take your bib over there? Your bib, your bib, your bib. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I am so ridiculous. What did I do with the boy bib? Anyway, the process, here it is. <laughs> the process is that you have to um you have to wash them off so when i wash them off i did see him pee a little bit so um i'm sure his drinking wet is working just fine but in any case he um he still needs his you know his final final bath but i don't do that until i'm completely done i give him a good bath and I'm going to get him a bottle. I've been dressing him and holding him and enjoying him since uh, Bryson left. So, okay. So, let's start back. I'll give y'all a quick timeline and then y'all will understand why I've been a little MIA. Number one. December 2nd, my first grandson was born. We had to do an induction <laughs> I say induction she had to be induced and uh, I've been making up stuff words and stuff but she had to be induced so we did that I don't even know what are you drinking oh. okay so she had to be induced so she was induced she had ricin on December the 3rd one of our um our members of the community um, died. Um, at least that's when I found out. And then um, we, so I think in between there, we took Bryson to the ER because his mom wasn't sure if he was peeing and he either, you know, he did a circumcision, which I, I knew he was, but as a new mommy, I knew that she needed that confirmation to settle her nerves. So we took him, he was fine and she was at ease. Um, December the 10th was one of my daughter's birthday and December the 11th, my grandmother passed away. And some of you guys may remember me talking about my grandmother all the time. Also, there, somewhere down, there's a few clips in some of my older videos of my grandparents 
where I would record them when I would go to the house or something or when they come over here. Little stuff like that. Um, so, and my grandmother practically raised me. My mom was not a crackhead or a unfit parent or anything like that. She just had me when she was young and my grandmother just kind of took over. And so, um, I think I was maybe in the sixth, seventh grade when I started going back and forth between the two houses. But even after full grown, um, I would go to my grandmother's house and still sleep in her bed. <laughs> so, um, even after having children, I would go and we would go over there. But anyway, that's my personal story. So, um, so I've, I've had to process that information. Um, she leaves behind my grandfather and my grandmother was 86. She would have been 87 tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, next month. Um, and she leaves behind my grandfather, which will be, um, which is 89. And they've spent 67 years together. 67 years. It's a long time. So we've been had to, you know, try, just, we're trying to, Keep a close eye on him, keep him in between the girls' houses, me, my mom, and my aunt. Um, we've been trying to rotate, keeping him, you know, just busy. Um, this is hard for him. Um, he, you know, was there caring for her. And um, Anyway, if you read my blog, you, you'll you know the why and how or whatever a little bit um, on MrRennieSmith.com. But, um, so anyway, on the flip side, on the adult side, I also, of course, I made a couple purchases. Um, they, you know, because they're from overseas, you know, it takes a while. Um, I had a situation occur with one of them. And um, I'm not going to get too deep into that in this video. Um, but that was a bit stressful. And um, it was, it was <laughs> to the point of um, basically where I just sat in my car and just cried. And I said, you know what? I don't have the energy for this. I said, I am too weak for this. I I will tell you this one particular line that I, I think this will, I try to push it out of my head and not even think about it because it, it shouldn't even weigh that much. But I, I said to this particular artist that I was not questioning their workmanship because me and Linda had talked in great length about my purchase and about her babies from this particular artist and I did not question whether her work was good or not and she said to me don't I dare compare myself to her friend Linda because I was not a good person <laughs> and um so anyway, it it was it was one of those scenarios. So um that really got next to me. And I think in that moment I said, you know what? Every battle is not yours. Let it go. Do what you gotta do to get what you paid for and move on. And so I did. Um Right after, I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but I am going to say this part. Um, I my I did respond with, I don't think a bad person would have made sure that your customer got their baby leaving from my grandmother's dead body. I picked up her package and shipped it to her customer because the boxes got switched because I didn't want the lady to, you know, 
have to wait on her her doll because I didn't know how my days was gonna go after that day um but anyway so it you know but I think in the end we since I've said that much I don't want to leave it open I think in the end we we mellowed out and got past that that conversation um I'm just one of those people, guys, even in this doll community and outside of the community where I don't hold on to stuff. I, I just, I just don't. It's just not in me. And I take a lot before I really, really can't deal with someone or I really, really let loose or cannot stand someone. And if I'm to that point where I don't want no dealings with a particular person, Either I'm just wrong as hell or you're evil to the core and I can I cannot. <laughs> so it's only a handful of people in this community that I stay far clear away. And, you know, that's that. But even with that, I don't linger. I don't make my whole life talking about them. I just move on. That's my way. But... I understand everybody don't understand that. You know, some of my close friends was like, I would have, da 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 And I'm like, yeah, but how much draining energy would that have taken for me to keep going back and forth? I'm already weak. I am. I am tired. Okay? You know what I mean? So, anyway. So, um, I, I am expecting, you know, a couple more babies to add to my collection, but not many. Um, very special one I'm waiting on. I am going to root this one, which is Vegas. I'm going to root Vegas when, um, I finish my custom. I, I have another uh, silicone custom baby that I'm working on and I'm going to uh, I'm going to to finish that one first and then I'm going to root um, I'm going to root Vegas um, or at least once I get to the to the home stretch but that's the thing once I get to the home stretch with with the uh, With the, when I'm working with silicone, I, I don't have room to do anything else because I don't stop. I get so addicted. Oh my gosh, I get so addicted to painting them. So, but yes, but I did want to go ahead and, and I rooted his uh, eyelashes and eyebrows, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to root him a little later. He is going to be one that's going to be very, very, very um, hard to photograph. I have taken some photos of him. But because I wanted him very detailed, even in his face and stuff, and it's, it is a little bit hard to to uh, photograph him good. But I'll 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 keep practicing until I can catch him and know which lighting to you know photograph him where it shows up as closest to the real thing. I was talking to one of my customers that have one of my babies and. Uh, she said the same thing. She said, yeah, I know. She said, it's hard to to really show how um, pretty the baby color is. And I, I, I'll I, be honest, I, I am using a different technique now than I have with any other baby. And um, I wanted to try it out on him before I get to the phase to start doing the same thing to the other baby and um i so i can be sure that once it's matted because sometimes it looks good while it's wet <laughs> and then you mat it and you be disappointed so i did it with him and i and i, and I love it and so now i'm moving forward with my custom um and um, I, I, I was just like nervous. <laughs> I was nervous, but yeah, 
it um uh, look at you diaper is so swole <laughs> but yeah it's it's just you know one of those things little stank a butt <laughs> oh I my my grandson this is a big diaper I don't know oh, you don't have to wear it because it's the only one I got here my grandson had a blowout. Wait, let me, let me lift you up to make sure mwah, that you actually got all of it out. <laughs> my grandson had a blowout while we were in the car the other day. I was I was taking them home, and that little boy had a freaking blowout. And I was like, you know, we do this for play on, you know, camera with the dolls. Back in the day, people were doing it. And I said, man, I, I forgot how this was. And I had to change his diaper in the car. I was like, oh my gosh. So it was, it was very interesting. <laughs> yep, yep. I was, I was like, oh my gosh. And so first time I had to do that, um, in what at least a couple years because I'm sure Gabby had some of a few blowouts in her time but she was not not that not not like that oh my gosh you know boys they go to peeing on you and all that stuff I was just like oh no <laughs> it's not fair <laughs> Let me burp him. So, here you see, it's my bad guys. But yeah, so I was, so I give him a, a good burp, and he's, yeah, like I haven't, I gotta go back on his back, but you gotta give a good burp. <laughs> you gotta give a good burp. But, um, uh, yeah. So that's that's why I've been offline, but I am still working. I am making good progress with another custom that I'm working on. I have one custom done waiting for hair. And I have two that's in progress, that's in good progress. And so I just need to um I just need to to finish up and uh, then I will be moving on to other stuff. I am working on other babies as well with them too. So I've, I'm busy, but I kind of, you know, there's days where I don't get to work because, you know, with everything going on. And like I said, I had my grandfather here with me overnight stay and stuff. And I had to prepare for him and then um, he course his appetite is not that strong so I had to cook his favorites so I was up cooking all morning and cooking big breakfast and cooking big dinner and he doesn't eat much like proportion wise and stuff anyway to begin with but so and I want you know kept cook enough for he to have a couple for a couple days now my grandfather was the cook my grandmother cooked too but when she was younger but over the years, my grandfather always cooked too. They both can cook really good. But he he cooked for her and, you know, made sure she ate and stuff like that. So um, cooking is not a, a, a problem for him. But being that he doesn't feel well emotionally, I don't trust that he would get up and even want to fix nothing to eat. So... I tried to fix enough for, you know, a few days, probably at least another day because one of us will go back and get him again. He doesn't want to stay put like that, but we, <laughs> we want him to stay put, but you know how that is. If you got grandparents, you know how that is. They, they feel like. They are old enough and, and able to, to get around. And then they don't need us telling them what to do. So, 
that's that. But yeah, so I, I am um, right now, and then I have another story, but I will tell that later, the story of Rio. Um, so I had that, and so I really haven't even sold any dolls. I haven't finished any dolls, um, which is bad because when I bought um, the last baby that I bought, I bought it with the thought that I would have been, have had sold um, Grumpy and Jasper um, by then, but I haven't finished them, so I haven't been able to sell them. Oh gosh, so it's it's just crazy. But this hobby is a good distraction, and it's it's good. It's it, and I had a lot of people within this community that keep. When I'm when my mind is idle and I am sitting still, I get messages enough to where it just it have kept me busy. Now sometimes I don't get a chance to get back to everybody, but um, you know I've had a couple of amazing ladies in the community that have already been here where I'm at with losing a grandmother that is that they have a super super close bond. Most people have close bonds with their grandmother, but there are some time you have that where like they're your first mom or your, you know, like your second mom. Like they, they are like, you know, it's just a, a different level. And I, there's like two other people that, um, you know, reach out to me. And then some of the things that they share with me kind of help me because, you know, this is foreign and um, I'm, I'm a person that like to try to control everything in my life. And I think I can like map it out. Like you, you think you can map out grief. I, you crazy. Like I, I, I am one of those people that think I can. Okay. Well, it's okay. If I, if I scream and holler and, and, and cry today, then tomorrow I should be fine. Right? No, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So I am one of those Looney Tunes that really, you know, and then it's like, am I doing this right? You know what I mean? Like, it, you know, and there's no right or wrong way to grieve. So it's like, you know, I feel guilty if I laugh. I feel guilty if I cry. Because, you know, she was tired and she, she it was time and, um, so, you know, and it's, it's just, you know, it's just that tug of war of the heart and the mind. It's, it's crazy. But this video is extremely long. Um, um, thank you again, everybody that have reached out to me, both with, you know, Birdie's passing. And of course, like I said, and I'm going to say this over and over again, because despite the, 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 the sensitive nature of the topic, people still will find ways to critique and, and nitpick, you know, every little thing, you know, you say or do or, you know, oh, she was more my friend than your friend. I, I don't want to do that. I, I, I will never, never think that my emotions could ever be as strong as her family or, you know, definitely her husband, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, so, and, and others in the community, there were other people that were closer to her than, than me. Um, so she, she loved, you know, a lot of people and a lot of people loved her. Rather it was from afar or up close. Um, and then, you know, my grandmother, that's, that's not, you know, and I, I know I'm within my, my rights to say this that it doesn't mean that losing one is is less than the other as far as you know what i mean um because to her family i'm sure she feels the same they feel the same way as i feel about my grandmother but this this <laughs> this is different this is 43 years of memories and um yeah so that's, that's, that's that, you know, <laughs> you don't, you can't compare 43 years to, you know, two, three years, you know, you can't, you yeah, know, um, and sometimes time don't matter. I will say that, but th th in this case, you guys get what I'm saying. 
but unfortunately sometimes you just have to break everything down for everybody but yeah so so that is what's been going on but we're gonna get past this and we're gonna get back to some happy jolly videos and i'm going to do some things soon i promise i i i i have things planned but i just haven't had a chance to get to it but we're gonna we're gonna get there we're gonna get there um oh man if if I just had enough time. So. But yeah. So we will catch up soon. I am going to get this little boy back in his spot. And probably change the next baby. But then, no, I have an appointment. Um, and then, anyway. I will see. Later. Bye-bye.